Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 with the Rude Man, and I'm on a new map today. It's new to me anyway. Uh, I don't I don't really think it's a new map. It's called Beaver Creek. It's a Stevie map, and I had a couple people suggesting this map and 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 Cherry Hills. Now I've played Cherry Hills many times. Uh, I didn't do a long playthrough of Cherry Hills, but I played it. Uh, well, m many versions of it, as a matter of fact. I started out playing it in uh, probably 2015 and then 2017. But <clears throat> this one is new to me. So I downloaded it several weeks ago, and then I've had recently a couple people, like I said, suggest that maybe I take a look at it. And as you know, I've been playing Spectacle Island. Spectacle Island is a complete different play style. Uh, you kind of have to do a lot of manual work. You had to log to get your um, fields that you owned uh, ready for harvest and that kind of thing. So um, this one's a large map and as a result has large fields and I can get back to um, the play style that I've been used to, which is big equipment, lots of it and uh, hectic uh, hectic work so first of all let me grab my combine over here and we'll run out first thing you will look at is the uh, map and you'll see that we own field one five and six they're already seeded they're already ready to harvest all of that kind of good stuff um, let's see what else do I need to do I think I should probably make sure I've got withering turned off All right, plant withering is off, periodic plowing is on, and one fertilization for now. We'll think about that later. Grab our combine. Might as well head out to this first field right here. There's a lot of built-ins on this map, and I have not looked at it at all to see what's available. So we're just going to be kind of learning as we go as to what's on this farm. Alright, let's uh, open this combine up. And we're going to drop that. Now I notice there's, is there mud on this? No. Well, if there is, I don't have it installed. All right, right now I only own the uh, the equipment that pretty much came with the map, except for what I've done is I've just exchanged it. So, in other words, if we look at my garage, the uh, the farm came with a lot of this stuff. I kept I didn't I didn't purchase um, any of the enterprise uh, grass cutters. I kept what came with the uh, with the map for the time being. That kind of thing. If there's and now I haven't changed the baler. I might change the baler uh, a little bit later. But um, I kept the small water tank. That kind of thing. Uh, kept a lot of this stuff. What I did was I exchanged some things that I like to use. I exchanged the fertilizer spreader for a mod that I like to use. Uh, I changed the the um, forage wagon to one that I like to use. And I changed the uh, cultivator out. The trucks I changed out. The um, grim potato and grim sugar beets I changed out. So I kept the equipment that was on the map. I just I just changed it to mods that I like to use. For example, this uh, combine. Uh, the map came with a combine, and I just swapped it out for this one. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We are in the uh, southwest, it looks like, and we're going to be heading east. So for the time being, I don't know what these fields are shaped like, so I'm going to go ahead and use course play. 
and let's see here let's do field work generate this is field number one 13.2 meters starting location is the southwest we're going to be heading east I'm going to activate uh, because I don't know how many trees and things are on the edges of this field I'm going to go ahead and do two headlands for now I may change all of this later but uh, this is what I'm going to do for now you know what I'm going to go with one headland I'm just going to go with one headland and that way I may or may not have to change this the reason I'm saying that is if I decide to do multiple tools like if I decide to put two or three combines on this field um, at a later date which I can do just by clicking this right here but if I had more than one headland uh, each one of the combines like if I had two combines running they're each gonna want to do a headland so I'll just leave it at one and that way if I want to at a later date put two combines on here I'll be able to do that readily easy easy okay so let's do this this is field one harvest southwest heading east uh, 13 meters times one all right I'm just going to start in this corner here. And we've got barley, it looks like. So let's go ahead and hire a driver. And then let's find out who we have. We've got Craig Dodds running the combine this morning. So let's go and uh, let me go in here. And I want to I want to put this in group number two and that's gonna be group number uh, let's put this in group number four I don't know what to do with this one I'm gonna leave it the way it is uh, the cedar will put in group number seven and this one will put in group number seven farm work. I don't know. I'll wait on that one. Truck will go in group number one. This one will go in group number three. Uh, obviously that's a combine. We'll put it in two. The big machinery I usually put in six. That'll go into two. Uh, I don't know what to do with that one right at the moment. It is a combine but it's a different kind of combine. Okay, so let's see. That's all the equipment I've got right at the moment. Well, I have lots of, of uh, tractors. So we'll get to that later. Let's see. Um, what else was I going to do? Right. I think I've got beets. I think one of the fields has beets on it. Let's see. I think five has beets on it. So let's grab the uh, beet harvester. And uh, that's the potato. There's the sugar beet. Let's run out with the sugar beet harvester. And I have to find this thing. I'm lost on this map. It's brand new, so I have no idea where anything's at. Whoa! <laughs> that was fun. All right, let's go up to this road. Well, no, wait a minute. Let me look at the map. Where am I going? Oh, straight up. We're going straight up. We're taking off to the north. Don't run through the water. Oh, that's pretty. It's got a nice pond right next to the farm. Hey, good looks like good fishing. All right, here's the uh, sugar beets. So let's do the same thing here. I'm going to go, it looks like a kind of a small field, so don't worry too much about it. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to do this uh, field number five. Field number five. 
Oh, hang on. Let me spread this guy's wings out. Because obviously he's got more than three meters on the header. Ten meters. Okay, starting location again is the southwest. Going to be heading east again. And I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do two headlands, I guess, with this. And I'm not worried about putting more than one uh, piece of equipment on here. So uh, we're going to do field aught five. Um, instead of putting that, I'm going to put beats. And we're going to be starting south, west, heading east. And that was 10 meters times 2. Right. Okay, here we go. Here we go, loop de loo. Alright, let's hire our worker. And who do we have working this one? Alan Myers is on the combine today. Now we've got to get some trucks out here, so let's get this one out for the for the grain, which is uh, this way. Now, since I'm not used to this farm, I got to figure out where I need to go to do the uh, to do the grain storage. That is, let me use this road, I guess. We'll head back to the farm and figure out. Boy, sugar beet is slipping already. What happened? What the hell happened here? All right, something, something went hooey here. I think I know what happened. I hired a worker and used course play, both, and I think I confused it. So we're going to start over here. Because I remember hitting the uh, hire button and then hitting the drive button, so let's see what it'll do this time. All right, so I'm thinking when it got to the end, it just got completely confused. What does it say to do here? All right, it's back in the swing of things. Sweet. Okay, so, okay, this is going to be easy because there's the, there's the silos right there. So we just come in this way. Oh, sweet. We'll just come in this way. Drop our load, so to speak. And then right back out that way, maybe. I'll just have to make sure this path is kept clear. Let's get that equipment out of it. Well, no, that's not right. I missed it. There it is. All right. Yeah, I could do this. I can do this. Sweet. All right, we'll start up here. Get up here on this hill where you can see the whole, the whole enchilada. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a. Um, um, let's see. 
combi course. I'm going to do a combi course. That must be the overloader. I'm going to do a combi course. And we're going to start course recording. I need to check and see if there's a new uh, course play. I haven't checked for a couple of days. Hey, I haven't checked for a couple of weeks. All right, let's see if we can get out of here without hitting a tree. I don't know how old this map is. Like I said, I haven't paid attention. I've been playing the uh, Spectacle Island for quite some time now and haven't really looked for new mods. So I don't know how old this map is. And I haven't played a Stevie map for a while. Stevie maps are always good. So I'm not concerned about having any problems with this map. Like I said, I just have to make sure I keep the path clear. I have a tendency to drop my equipment wherever it lies. Not a good uh, habit to form. This is the next thing you know, you try to drive through your farmyard and uh, there's a ton of equipment in the road. Alright, stop her here. Give it a save. Field Ot 1. Alright, let's see. Uh, field Ot 1, Grain 2, Silo. Let's just do that. And then uh, drive the course, see what it does. Oh, it's going to run through the gambit. All right, let's get the other. Let's get the other. Um, let's see. I'm going to be using this one for the beats, I guess. So let's head up to the beat field, which was north. And now that we know where the silo's at, should be an easy process. We just need to find a path to get there. So I'm going to start right here, I guess, and we will do the same thing. So let's do a combi course and start the recording. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up on this dirt road that appears to be here. Must be there for a reason, eh? There's our other field to the left there, field number six. We'll get to that in a minute. There seems to be plenty of grass around the edges of the fields, so we should be able to pick up some grass here. Like I said, I haven't looked at this map whatsoever, so I have no idea the size or shape of it, if there's any grass fields already available. Uh, Stevie usually has a couple of places where you put your own uh, modded... Uh, not equipment, but things like uh, production. I don't know if he did on this map. I'm saying I haven't looked at it. I do have a helicopter, but I haven't used it yet. Outside to bring it from the dealer to the to the uh, farm. I haven't added a lot of other modded features like I would normally like. Um, like the silage silos, I think he's got them built on. I'm not sure, but I think so. I did kind of run around the farm proper a little bit. All right, we're going to take this guy around the same way. Just make a big circle of it. We've got seeding, we've got compost, there's potato washers. Uh, all of this on the, on the main farm. So the main farm's got a lot of stuff on it far as I can see. I did put in an extra storage and I'll show you that in a second.
I kind of wish this would have been potatoes instead of beets, but that's okay. I might go ahead and immediately seed it in beets to get that done. Let's stop this here. I'm going to save it. And this is uh, field dot 5. Grain the silo. Drive the course. Let him go. And yeah, let me take a look here. I'll show you the only the only other thing I added as far as production or buildings or whatever you want to call it would be over here. And uh, no, it's not. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Must be on the other end. I told you I haven't checked this farm out, so I'm lost already. There it is. I did put this in. It's my own storage. It holds almost everything I can think of. Uh, and I did that just in case I have no idea. I haven't looked. I have no idea how much uh, room he put in here and what he put in here. Can we put potatoes in here? I don't know. It looks like he's got everything in here. There's washed potatoes, sugar cane, spell. Okay. It looks like he's put... But he's even got sawdust in here. What he's calling protein on the bottom there. TMR, forage. Oh, it looks like we've already got some stuff in there. About 30,000 of, of a lot of things. Beet pulp. Cool. All right, so there you go. It looks like he's taking care of a lot of that. But just in case, I did put that extra storage in. Um, if I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. Now, what do we got here? Water, manure, and compost will make what? What does this create? Hmm. I don't know. Not worried about it, though. Okay, and then it looks like we've got... What is this? Vegetables of some kind? Turn that on. Um, ba -bum -bum. Lettuce. We've got lettuce, and we've got pumpkins, and we've got tomato, tomato pallets. And we've got, what's here, melon pellets, and cauliflower. And then we've got over here a separator facility, uh, production of biomatter manure solids. All right. Sweet. Ah, uh, looks like we've got a pallet thing here. We'll have to check that out, see what's going on with that. We've got composter. Like I said, it looks like he's taking care of everything right here on the farm. We've got seed makers, right? Is that what that is? Manual charging? I don't know what that is. To automatically fill... Um, yeah, this is a seed master. There it is, seed master. Got a seed master there. We've got uh, fuel here. Uh, we've got all of our fertilizers and and to do da over here. This is I don't know what this is. Let's take a look. It's a beet master for making beet pulp. That's good to know. And then we've got your potato washers over here. There's. Uh, uh, potato washers and I'm guessing potato steamers for making steamed potatoes. We got all kinds of junk in here. <clears throat> okay, so slurry. Is this storage for slurry and stuff? Must be. Uh, cow poop, manure. I don't know what the difference between those two are. Huh. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, let's see. We've got st uh, storage for seeds, evidently, and fertilizer. Cool. And here's why I walked over this way a little bit earlier. There's bridges everywhere. Okay, we got the cattle area here. We've got your mixing stations right here. Uh, it looks like the for pig and cattle. Um, there's a there's a uh, silage clamp here, which I never use. I hate those things. Uh, but I'm thinking that these are silage silos, and we'll check that out later. We've got wood over here. I don't know what it's for. Um, normal cattle stuff. 
I don't know why there's a pallet of wood there. No particular reason, I guess. Left over from building, maybe. Who knows? But as I say, it, whoa! I just, I just took a bath. Like I say, there seems to be everything on the farm that you're gonna need. What was over here? Yeah, the vegetable farms. Let's see. We found the cows. Where's the sheep and the pigs? There's sheep over there here and bleating. All right, let's cross this. Were we here already? No. All right, there's for wool. Yep, there's for wool. So here's your sheep. And there's your pigs right there. Pigs right there. Sheep right there. Sweet. And we got some equipment over here. Picking up the sheep or the pig poo poo. Ah, there's a road that goes through here. Why, I wonder. Huh. All right. Well, we'll discover that all later. Okay, well there you go. There's uh there's for uh, picking up straw and selling I'm, I'm guessing. Sweet. Well we got a few things to work on and figure out. Let's go check and see how we're doing with our with our uh, harvest here. Pretty sweet, everything seems to be running smoothly. Nothing picked up here yet. That thing's almost done. We haven't even picked up any beets yet. Let's get this truck out of the way. I think this must be where I, uh, when I have things transported from the dealer, they must pop right in that area up there because I don't remember driving my truck yet. Let's just pop the old truck right here. And, uh, let's see, I've got, uh, where's the other part of, hmm, do I have a tractor that's free, that one's got that on it, that one's got that on it, where's the other tractors, okay, that one's got that on it, I think I have four tractors, let's see, Got to get, got to get organized here. One, two, three, four tractors. Right, and then uh, the uh, the big buster. Wonder if that's all hooked together. So the tractors. There's a fourth tractor somewhere. That one. That one. That one. Oh, there it is. Okay, the all all the tractors are being used. So I'm gonna need a tractor to do the mowing. But I don't need to do the mowing right away. So let's just get organized here. Let's go see if this guy's ready to pick up. Ethan was in this one, but we didn't need to use him because this thing held more than, uh, than I thought it would. Man, that was a fast beet harvest. Wasn't that a fast beet harvest? Jeez. All right, so it's got more than a truckload. Let's see here. It's still got the course in. I'm going to drive the course to make sure everything's working properly. So let's let this guy go. All right, he's done. Let's stop the driver. Get the pipe out. Might as well get rid of the course. Oh, and here he comes. Let's just sit here and wait.
sweet. Everything's running just like clockwork. Gotta love it when the plan comes together. Um, is he full? Why is he pulling away? He's full, that's why. Okay. Fine. How's this guy doing? He's still motating. Let's get the... Not that. Let's get this guy working out there. Yeah, I can see. Now, I kept the I kept all the tractors that... Well, not all of them. I replaced one. Um, I kept four of the tractors that were on the map when I bought it. On the farm when I bought it here. But... Um, but they're a little weak. I might have to get some bigger tractors. You see this guy's struggling to pull. And he's not even got anything on him yet. Okay, so let's see. We're going to do... Um, we're gonna do this. We need to do... Right, let's pull up a course. This was field one. Grain to silo. We're gonna, that's the one we want right there. Is it? No, it's not. Dump that. Let's get rid of that. We want the harvest one. Field one. Okay, we want that one. And it starts down in this corner. So let's line this up here about right there. Close enough government work. I don't have to do it this way. It's just my preferred method because I've been doing it this way ever since I started using this game. So let me uh, get rid of that course. And we're going to start a new one. So let's, uh, let's go to Grain Transport and start the course recording. It's going to kind of flip around because we're going right back this way. I went into the field because I don't want to go out of the field and hit a tree. I'm assuming that I can put straw in this silo. If I can't, then that's why I put that extra storage in. And again, it's my preferred method to come in with every piece of equipment uh, the same way. So that I don't have, uh, like if I'm harvesting two or three fields and I've got trucks coming in, they're not going to hit head on. They're going to reach their neighbor and just wait their turn. If that makes any sense. All right, I'm just going to come right back here. To the start, that's simple. Pretty easy. And we'll stop right here. Okay, and we're gonna call that Field 1. Field 1. Straw 2. Silo. Okay, get rid of that. We're going to go into field work. We're gonna choose our harvest field 1. And then we're going to uh, also choose uh, straw to silo. All right, so we get a combination course. Let's get this thing working here. Yeah, see, this this tractor leaves a lot to be desired. It's uh, pretty slow. I don't know if it has much power. Let's see. Let's speed it up a little bit. If it will, I don't know if it has the power to. Because this piece of equipment should go 24 miles an hour. They just can't do it. All right. Let's get this truck off the road. Looks like he's empty. Stop the driver. Get rid of the course. 
We're going to move this up to field six. That's going to be our next field. Let's see, who's doing that work over there? Uh, Dar Smith is working here. I brought her out of retirement. She's working on the farm. All right, I'm just gonna run this guy up right here for now. Gotta get our combine. And it is not empty. And I don't know what kind of fruit is on that other field over there, but we're gonna go find out. In the meantime, let's get rid of this barley. So where do we start? Do we start and be consistent, start in this corner? Why not? We'll be consistent. What do we have here? This is soybeans, I thought it was. So we're gonna do some so we're gonna do some soybeans, it's gonna give us some protein. So we've got uh, earth fruit and protein, uh, which is gonna be a good start on the pig food. And we've got wheat for the uh, regular cow food so hey we're looking up looking good all right so let's see here we're gonna do uh, field work on field six and 13.2 southwest heading east sounds good to me and we're gonna do one headland and let's do it do it all right field on six Harvest southwest going east 13 times one, and we're ready to rotate. We're gonna do it here. And no windrow, of course, because it's soybeans, that's okay. We're gonna have a little bit of windrow. Let's get him going and see who we've got working here. Chet, Chet Chastain is working this today. Andy? Well, I haven't seen Andy in a long time. Good old Andy out here. Let's see. Um, let me get rid of this because we're pretty much done here, aren't we? Actually, we're not. I let that run itself because I wanted to test it, make sure that horse ran because he didn't get a chance to do it while he was being harvested here. This field. So let's grab the rest of our beets. All right, he's empty. Oh, he closed himself up. Isn't that sweet? Take care of himself. And let's uh, stop the driver. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's head into the barn. Didn't even get dirty. That was a quick job. Okay, now where do I have this guy parked over here? Lots of room to keep your equipment. Put it inside the barn, outside the barn, doesn't matter. Let's get this guy back to the farm. Did I turn his course off? Yes, I did. Sweet. Wow. Pretty good start here. We got uh, one last field going. That shouldn't take too long. Got straw being picked up, so we've got straw. We need to get some grass to start mixing some food for cattle that we don't have yet. 
and uh, just get a bunch of crops to do some production. I want to do some some vegetable stuff and, and all that kind of thing. I don't know what we're going to do with beet pulp, but I don't know what I'm going to do with beets, so there you go. I'm putting it in here for now. We'll worry about what to do with it later. Let's get this uh, this farm day out of the way. Let's put this truck away for now. I'm going to use the wheat. Uh, the uh, It wasn't wheat, though, was it? It was barley. I'm going to use the barley and stuff for, uh, for the uh, mixing station for now. I need to get another tractor, though. Let's see. Um, let's let's look at tractors here. I'm using every tractor I've got. I do have a little bit of money, so let's take a look at what we've got available here. I don't need anything big. I'm looking for something to run that mower. Is what I'm looking for. Right. Or maybe I should just buy a mower. How much is it? How much is the Enterprise? Let's take a look. How much is the Enterprise? We need uh, tippers, forage. Uh, what category is that under? Can't remember. My mind just went uh, completely haywire. Forage harvesters. Mowers, there it is. Okay. Let's see how much the Enterprise is. I don't even know if I even have it. I do have it in here. The Big X. GTXM. Big M. I said, okay. It's only 180000 I got lots of money. Let me buy one of those. And uh, what color should I make it? <laughs> Main color. Have I ever had a red one? I don't know if I have. I really don't. I could make a silver one if it's going to be an Enterprise. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give it some black rims, though. All right, standard attacher. No, I want to. I want to put the extended hitch on just because. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but I guess I could always engineer it later. And let's see. Let's put. Uh, let's put the GTX Boost Pack on there. Sure, why not? Factory 520. Let's put the boost pack on there. I don't know if I need it. Standard design. I want all the bells and whistles. We'll put the beacon light on it. And then, since we have that, there's no need in uh, in keeping the other one. So, I'm doing this for a reason. It was only 180000 That's pretty cheap, actually, for a piece of equipment, as you can see. I'll get some of it back by selling this. And the the other reason is if I use that piece of equipment, I don't have to use a windrower. If I use that other grass machine, it just uh, kind of spreads it out. And, you know, I, I then I'd have to do a second course. Uh, who's slipping? Oh, shoot. That's not good. What happened here? Huh, that's odd. Let's see what the course is looking like. I had one windrow or one uh, header which he already did. So this might not have been. I should have maybe went the other way. Oh boy. Huh. Well, let's see if them trees are going to be a problem the whole way. I may have to do this course over. Um, this end over here has more room to turn. Let's go check the other end here and see if it's got more room to turn. It does. Okay, so if this, if this, I tell you what, if this thing keeps getting caught in these trees, I'm going to do this differently. Uh, instead of starting it where I did down here, going that way, I started it down here, uh, heading this way. I'll do it different. I'll have it start right here, heading this way. 
or no, maybe the other end. I'll do it on the other end. Start right here going this way, and then it'll go up and down, up and down this in this direction, and there's more room on the ends of the fields, and I won't have any trouble, because I think that's going to be an issue. These trees over here. Maybe, maybe not. I'll let it go, see what it does. But in the meantime, I'm going to call it an episode here. I hope you had fun. If you did, give it a like, share it with a friend. Subscribe to my channel. That'd be great for me. I'd, I'd appreciate that uh, tremendously. And I'll see you back on the farm in the next episode. Um, if you like me playing this map, let me know and I'll, start, I'll keep making them. Otherwise, I'll go back to Spectacle Island and, and do my thing. So, bye-bye for now.